a Gemini. So this is going to be a read for you. If you haven't uh, seen the All Signs video of what's uh, new coming in, go watch that. I'm also going to be posting a uh, All Signs love read later, maybe tonight or tomorrow. I'm not sure yet as to YouTube only puts out three notifications a day per channel. So I'm afraid because when I put out videos for you guys, then if I do over three videos a day, you guys don't get notified and you guys don't see it. So I see you're finally coming out of looking back to the past for answers. Yeah, you're finally uh, starting a new cycle and you're coming out of looking back to the past for answers. You was quite frequently looking back to the past and looking, um, looking back to the past, not only in your love life, but you was looking back to the past for reflection reasons also. So with you coming out of looking back to the past for answers to a lot of questions that you had, you're coming um, forth now and spirits bringing you out of all that pain and hurt that you held on to from your past. Like you was hanging on to a lot of pain, hurt, guilt, resentment, and uh, you needed to go in and forgive your parents and things like that. And that's what was keeping you stuck and that what was holding you back. Yeah. Spirit's bringing you in some new opportunities for you because you are going in and you are doing the inner work and with you breaking free from the mindset that you had. And you breaking free from always going back to the past to looking for answers to who you are now. Looking for answers to things that happened in your life that wasn't so nice as what I'm getting. Uh, you're really coming out of that and you're really blooming into who you are as a person. Who you are supposed to be. You're honestly letting uh, spirit guide you right now, which is a good thing. Yeah, you felt bound by the past. You felt bound and hurt and you was really unbalanced. And a lot of bad things happened to you during your childhood. And now that you're coming out of that way of thinking you're coming into something new. <laughs> Rascal, lay down. Yeah, I do see you're uh, manifesting right now. Yeah. You're manifesting uh, something better to come in. Yeah, like literally you felt bound and stuck in like you had a lot of regret over things that had happened to you in your past. You had a lot of pain inside of you that you needed to go in to release. Yeah, you're coming out of that victim mentality and you're learning from those lessons you're learning from the things that you went through that you don't have to hang on to all that energy that was weighing you down from fully stepping into you. Yeah, you could have been having a lot of money issues lately. Like your whole way of thinking was based around money and it like really put a big burden on you because of this. And with you releasing 
your way of thinking with you releasing the money can fix everything attitude. You're coming into a new cycle. Yeah, you're realizing money don't buy happiness. Yeah. You've had a lot of anxiety going on with you lately. You've had a lot of emotions coming up inside of you and you've been releasing those emotions from your past. Yeah, and you've had a lot of pain that you've been releasing. Yeah, you're, uh, you could be in the midst of switching jobs right now. You've had a lot of external challenges that you're overcoming. Yeah, I do see with you coming out of looking back to the past and releasing all those energies that you're coming forth into something better. Spirit's trying to bring you in something more, but you have to finish releasing all those energies from your past that was holding you back. Like there's something still there that has put a guard around your heart that you need to release. And it, it's not going to happen overnight, but you, with you doing the work on yourself, you are going to release this. Yeah. Yeah, see, I see you walking away from things that have hurt you, things that have held you back. You have had a lot of hurt that you have put down inside of you. And Spirit's trying to get you to bring those energies up for you to release them. Once you start releasing them, you're going to see a different flow within yourself. Not only within yourself, within your income, within your life, within your career, within all these things that these energies are affecting. I'm get like this, like everything in your life, this energy is affecting. So spirit's trying to bring that energy up your spine and out. Yeah. You're going to start stepping into who you truly are as a person, who you are meant to be. Not only just who you're meant to be, but why you're here. You're going to start fulfilling that in you. Don't be afraid of releasing. That's what I just got in my head. That you're afraid of releasing these energies and stepping into who you truly are. You can't be afraid of releasing those old energies. Because those old energies is what's keeping you from you. It's what's keeping you from the life that you want to create. It's you've held on to these energies for so long that you believe that energy is part of you, but it's not. You can make it through. Your higher self is always guiding you. What wisdom does your higher self have for you? Take responsibility for your life as a creative adventure. How can you live with more meaning, integrity, and truth? Yeah, this is about who you are. I told you, you have to release 
that old energy so you can fully step into you. Your purpose is personal expansion. How can you be more internal with your choices and live with more purpose? Yeah, yeah, I knew there was one more. Deep inward journey. You'll be rewarded for the work. How can you alchemize yourself? Yeah, Jim, now you got to go in and finish releasing all that pain that's within you. Once you finish releasing all that old energy, you will find that your life is um, going to shift for the better. 15, 33, 18, and 29 are the numbers that I got for you. I hope this resonated for you. And if you didn't watch that, what's new coming in, go watch that also. All right. Thanks.